And so the battle begins. Let's see if we've got some pace. Towards ramp, three Danes do charge. Flamey in jeopardy. Knocks the socks off of one, but it's all smoke and mirrors. It's forced to rotation. Heavy one, three towards the lower side immediately from Navi oh, here, but it's back towards top. Yeah, it's a nice pivot into the site. Boomich unable to provide too much. That should have been a headshot. Oh, Roy lives to tell the tale and takes one for himself. Four on four. Simple vents with an armored CZ-75. Timing is everything for this fight. He has to get it on contact from someone else. What's his cue? Will it be Boomich? Trying to bait something. Flamey pincering in from Trophy. They're coming in from four different avenues of assault, Chad. No kids, though. You're right. They have to go now. Simple really going to be the first man up. Refresh is waiting, but the CZ works out wonderfully. Into the site. Finds a second as well before Shush. Silence is simple. Flamey onto Roy, and that's the defuse. Great retake. Great patience. Yeah. CSGO Fast is one of the best and most reliable sites in the world, with various types of game modes, giveaways and much more. Use my link in the description. The full lower control. Three from ramp. Bomb's already that's lower. The that's the sound cue, and that's the flamey frag. Gets it. Hooksy's already there to sweep him up. And now it's on to simple. It was. And it was quickly solved by Roy. Now only an MP9. Two to be specific for a retake. No fun for anyone. And a FAMAS for electronic working up towards ramp. The spray, not going to get him far. He opens the door, and the bullets are in the right direction. But nobody's down, and a 4v3 continues. This is very difficult to retake right now. Damage might just be name of the game here with these MP9s. They can't go vent, they can't go decon. They're just trying to take away as many guns as possible where do here. do you go? I think you're safe top of ramp, and that's where they're headed. Oh, into decon. Oh, into window. Yeah, and Hooksy survives like the skin of his teeth. Up on the hunt. Nobody going down. They played that nicely. Mad Lions, conservative in their lower take. I'll let you stay on the mic. I don't think we've got contact for a while. They actually, I say that. They're grouping ramp. What's Roy lining up? A boost? What? These oh, ho, ho, ho. Flamey was not ready for that. Jumping on his teammate's head, Acor's knocked him for six. It's Flamey being punished twice now. They need to find Hooksy. They know that they've lost this territory, but they don't know if anybody's crossed. Flamey would have called a lot, but towards lower into Boomich's hands they go, and Boomich able to convert one. Is that enough? That should be enough. At least to slow them down. Acor's only got an AWP. Electronic has found Hooksy. Navi are digging themselves out of this hole, but that's a lot of flame. Forces Boomich into the line of fire. And now as they look to descend as a pack, all three, this could be chaos. A flash from Perfecto will catch Roy or not. Just a little too shallow. So many sound cues. Oh, it's a good flash and a peek, but tr quickly traded. Acor aggressive. He's got three this round. Some oh. side orping prowess and electronic survives. How does he survive? He could have found Acor, but it's quite the round. A quad kill from the Danish Orper and look at the mangled corpse. Perfecto evades that nicely. It's actually a wild spray from his FAMAS that finds the head. Maybe there's more to be said, but mm, just as he looks away, Boomich does go down. Simple makes it round Ooh. a bit interesting because Flamey's found another Deagle frag. They can make this work. It's just Acor and Hooksy. Hooksy's gone now all onto Acor. Can he clutch up? It's against the very man he no scoped, and he's only got an unarmored Deagle, but difference doesn't matter against Simple and against that one shot headshot of the Deagle, Acor. Here's him. Simple has revealed. He has an orb. Uh, he had an AK. Simple. Why isn't he not using the AK? And that's the end of that. Acor peeks him. Good question. Are you wanting that one shot headshot? Has the same with the AK. Not sure why he didn't opt for it. This is kooky. They've got the orb in vents. Flamey tucked in on Dark Shush is about to molly him out of position into the loving arms of Decon. Door swings open. Time is a bit off. He gets the bomb. Oh, that's huge. But Hooksy quick to trade. He's been doing a lot of heavy lifting with that MAG-10, at least presence, and now a nade landing at Perfecto's toes. Bomb to be planted. Round likely lost. Electronic wants to change the dialogue, though. Hooksy's head so close to being visible, he takes it off. Three on three established. They have kits. They will go for this. A, a smoke on Boomich as well. Shoosh, traded nicely by Boomich. He has window room. Time ticking continues. Acor patrolling the perimeter. He knows where Boomich is coming from, but he's got two targets to find, and he takes the head off Perfecto neatly down the ramp as he descends, still 2v1, and Acor's doing it all on his own. Jeez, he's just been great so far. Acor has been an absolute force to be reckoned with. A T-sided AWP. Or rather to warehouse, it's very tight. Acor wants to hunt. Simple speaking off his own flashbang. Nobody gives him the fight. It's Electronic, the first to fall, and Roy just a slither. 
Harvey's elbow knocked off by Simple. Puts us into a level and even keel. Even Hooksy taking a bit of a heavy flak. He's down to just two HP. I'm... And you're right, Chad. 25 seconds. I don't even know how they might expect to be able to dig themselves out of trouble with 20 seconds. It's a five seconds window to plant. Four and a half. Simple already finds another. Doubles up. Three remain. The T's might want to try and dive down the vent. This is ambitious. They go in top side. And that's the frag they need. Boomich denies them both. And the round is lost. That's what they needed. Na'Vi with just two weapons. It's actually the CZ that doubles up. And now Acor just save it on to that AWP. It's not necessarily a financial one. More just hoping that the Na'Vi boys don't get yeah. the momentum. Flash. No one fires a shot. Flash and return. Util being deployed. Flamey tucked in. Shush completely found. Oh, and another spectacular headshot. Simple is backing him up. Refresh needs the double, but Flamey denies. He's got himself three as he locks down Ram. But Na'Vi starting to shift momentum in their favor. Hooksy, he's been known to slip the net. And he's got very little power in this lower site. What with the bomb lost on Ramp. Good kill. Make adjustment. He was ready for that. Loses a great deal of health in the process, but finding Boomich is a start. It's a good start. Flamey with an AWP. Could be overwhelmed if he goes for a wide swing here. He's got to get his movement right. He's slow. And it should be Flamey's. Get a, collect it. Four. There it is, the take. And that's the flash they wanted. Forces Perfecto off. And how does Shush hit that? He was looking at the ground. And Roy gets another. Finally, silence. But they're going ramp. And it's only simple. He had a P250. The AWP was on his back. Flamey does eliminate the one lingering team member. I say one. Oh, but refresh. Is Flamey expecting this? He was. He was still anticipating. It doesn't stop him from going down, though. And that is a Mad Lion's ninth. That necessary, as they've got the second half ahead of them. This is Mad Lion's pick. I kind of like Na'Vi's setup here. Now, Refresh could do something from that vent's position, but he's got to kind of try and stop that vent rotate. That's his plan. But Wallbang actually works out nicely. Boomich gets brought down to 30, forced out of position a little. And that's the simple frags. They keep coming. He gets both of them. And he might even find a third. Acor doesn't. Simple does. And that's a 6-9 half. Solid defense keeps it close enough. And we'll see exactly how far Mad Lions can push it. In total. Simple had 21 in the first half. So ah. uh, it is the simple show to kick things off here today. Let's see if he Hello. can get on the T side. Very fast. And they could be He's walking straight into refresh. He's on the hunt. Hoopsie taps away at the first. They've got a tech nine into the pistol. And electronics filled the feed with it. Gets a double, no less, to open up and start that bomb plan, but it's been stopped. I can't believe it. I believe he just straight up banged smoke. him through the smoke. Electronic, a third for the Tech-9. He's finally brought down to size, and now the price they pay is an unarmored Boomich in this 1v2. He caught. Okay, first the duel. Bomb. He knows where Shush was. He's got both of his targets. It's just about precision. Now, bomb retrieval is another part of the game, and he's got it. He can slip away. Perfect. He's coming in from main. Shush, really not anticipating this. This is probably going to make it a 1v1. Oh, nice clean kill. And one more to find. Acor. And Boomich is pre-aiming his position as well. Oh, he's open. Oh, he's planted for it and fakes it. Looking for the frag. A couple of bullets go awry. He's down to 7 HP. No armor. The USP shreds through him. One headshot's his only way in. And Acor finishes it off with an eventual final bullet into Boomich. It's 10. Yeah, unfortunate reality is that it has just not been the team effort required for an RV performance or a victory. There you go. That's not too shabby. Electronic into the site. Hooksy in a lot of trouble. He does get his flashbang off, and it works wonders. He gets two frags with very low HP, down to 41 before anyone came into the site, and they wrap it all up with another SMG frag. They get free upgrades on all of them. That's the frag Acor was waiting for. Catches the first of the adventurers in yard. Boomich joins Simple behind the red container. They cannot cross. They cannot join Electronic. And that's the bomb, Chad. What do they do? They they walk across? Lower. It walk. feels like they have to go lower, which means they need to take a fight. But with only this one flash, that's their only option. Flash and go. And Simple spotted Acor, but not having that frag. Puts them in dire straits. Acor has kept them. They forced them into the site. He even catches Boomich. Great play. Simple with the bomb spotted. Flamey is on top site. I think they're calling a save. And he's running away. Refresh is chasing him. Both of them. That's a... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Mad, Mad Lion's T-side, you know, did a lot more with the same control. Yeah, they were actually able to use the smokes to take some territory. Na'Vi, they took secret control. Yeah, top side seems to be the plan, right? Is that a heaven, Molly? Bombed box, I think. Okay, so Hooksy's going to have to find a safe haven. He is safe for now. Flashes his teammate out, but refreshes the one to four. Na'Vi have an advantage now as they look to tighten their grasp. 
Oopsie. Dust connected to the first, but quickly swung on. Tech nine's all perfecto needed. Bomb will be planted and rotate coming in. Electronic has this lobby fight. Roy second guessing himself. A nice sound cue given over and looks like Shush is saving. Yeah. Looks like they concede this one. And so now V. Very Danish. In the next round, their economy is still decent. So the lost bonus trickle on through. Guns can be dropped from Roy and Shush over to refresh and hooksy. Sound too bad, but with 13 to wait, does. Three rounds is all Mad Lions need, and look at the spec. Oh my goodness, Roy, calm down. He charges into lobby. Hooksy's right behind him. They just charge lobby. They're doing a lobby crunch, and it kind of works. Shush has only got one HP. That's not really oh, functional. He nearly goes down. They have so much time left, but my God, is this a different change of pace from Mad Lions. They just rushed into the lobby. Roy, close to finding simple. That would have put us into a completely dead even 2v2, but Flamey has an advantage now, and oh, Hooksy, just as you arrive, bro. Has to fight. And he does. He wins the duel. Nasty, nasty twist of fate. Puts us into that 2v2 I was mentioning. This is very winnable now for Mad Lions. This would be an absolutely monstrous round to win. And Hooksy wants more. He's searching. He might get the double. I don't know, man. Flash is pushing. Oh, he cakes down Electronic. It's only simple now. With 7 HP, he's lost his healthy teammate. And the bomb's loose as well. Trying to retrieve it in the smoke. Tokens if he drops man, look at Shush. Yeah, you're right. The vent is broken, though. Simple retrieves the bomb and drops down. Okay. Step one complete, but shush. As you mentioned, the one HP survivor is right where he needs to be. And Mad Lions overcome. It's all right, mate. We didn't catch all of that. Oh, no. Perfect camera it's angle. It's not like 30,000 people were watching you <laughs> not check your corners. It wasn't even corners. Oh, no. It was the Z-axis, and they've lost Electronic. Perfecto jumps into the jaws. Boomich finally finds ramp, but short-lived. Acor plucks. The leader of Na'Vi out from the cross, and now Simple does have ramp control. It's well, so hard for Simple to win this fight. Is it, a, is it just a guess? It is a guess. He's still floating ramp as well. The thing is, Simple is really on a knife's edge here. If he peers out too far and shows the barrel, Acor's going to... All the timing on this. <laughs> How can you get any luckier with that one? And the it. bomb. Look where the bomb is. How does Flamey win this? Okay, 25 seconds kill him hope they peek him it's not gonna happen he needs the hook mod to get up heaven there yeah. because otherwise yeah that's 15 on the board for mad lions this is going to be a single digit victory for mad lions on nuke this is fantastic stuff i don't know man i see this looking like a couple of mollies after a frag suddenly they're locked out I have to peer a little bit and that's enough uh, that's enough for acor he's got himself his 24th frag in pursuit of the match point this is it to take the map, and certainly not the match. This is the first of the best of three. Oh, hi, Simple. Bit of an overextension, and the hero dies a hero's death. Perfecto, long range tapping. Roy just had a transfer with the org into two heads. And we wrap it all up, put a bow on it. Nuke is mad. Lions, they picked it, and they win it. What twists and turns we have in store. So Roy actually looking to take a duel here. It's quite Three unusual. Here. Shush does once again stand and fight, put some pressure on them. They want to contain this. They don't want brown holes to be an open and shut case. And oh dear, that's a simple P250 and it couldn't be a better map for it. Okay, well, they're going to accelerate towards Yard off that. They picked up a freebie of a smoke here. That's going to help their ascent out Ivy. Even an upgrade into a USP. I like this a lot. Oh dear. Refresh catches him off guard. He takes down Simple. Doesn't oh, have the bullets. It doesn't matter. He hasn't gone down. He tucks away. And now into the site comes Perfecto. A good flash. Refresh not down. Finished off finally. And a quick clean headshot into Roy. Oh, a th triple kill from Perfecto. He only needs one more. Shush is found. And that's an RV pistol courtesy of the full squad. It's Perfecto's triple though. Like, oh, now he's gosh. stuck in there. Yeah, now. he's taken a lot of damage and finished off after being softened up down to 47. The MAC-10, oh, what a perfect flash. That's Na'Vi's every day of the week. They're looking as drilled as Mad Lions did on their T side of Nuke. That was very good stuff. Hello, info, jiggle, fights, and takes the shot. Acor trying to level the odds, but already losing Shush, losing Acor. The Franks just keep coming, flowing for Na'Vi, and poor roll refresh, well... He's vulnerable. I think he may have even been spotted. It looks like Simple hasn't made the call, despite being able to see just a little glimpse of him. Flamey going down, but quickly traded. I need territory. This is good. Oh, no. Completely caught out. Acor goes down again. Roy standing his ground. And this time, Flamey catches him standing. 
lovely work from the top of the ladder. They're just getting every fight they need. It's every round now. Na'Vi getting something favorable. This is good. Refresh tags up one and finds the other. Electronic both dueling with him. Oh, and Simple eventually wins the War of Attrition. A one versus three, but slightly winnable. They are softened up. And that was the necessary first. Shush, though, will he be anticipating that Pop Dog player? Don't just get him here, surely. He's just tucked in in time. And he's found the head. A 1v3 starting to manifest. Upgrades to the AK. And he's oh. found it as well. Mad Lions gifted the first of our second map, courtesy of Shush. He even scavenges away an AWP as well. Too far away. Yeah, look at that. He's got vision. He has to hit this shot. And he does. Perfecto caught just on the cross now. Brought down to size. Boomich into the side from Ivy. Refresh holds he his flashed. nerve. It's Acre on the bomb train. A lot of pressure being applied. Simple continuing to frag. Electronic as well. They're filling the feed. It's all brown on blue. Na'Vi doing Na'Vi things. And you said it shouldn't come down to him. Can he really hit us with three? Not to be. Oh, he's doing the Carrigan maneuver right now. And he's got another kill. Hooksy. Sorry, oh. mate. Zero nine. Oh, it's getting, it's really getting tough out there. <laughs> okay. Hold up. Okay. Never mind. Everyone calm down again. This looks like another Na'Vi round, unless Acor has something to say about it. Bang. And the problem isn't solved. Acor still lives. Perfecto could be strafing into that very man's aim. Cautious on the jiggle. Those were spotted. Found. 1v1. Acor, so impressive on the first. He's a quad kill here. Simple's going to peek into him. He's going to have to react. The scope, sound. Oh, oh and a missed miss. shot. A chance, a new lease of life for Acor, and he gets the hell out of dodge. Now, Bomb is on Simple's back. And so the freedom to plant is his. Oh, spots him. And hits it. Exceptional from Acor. Two rounds so far for Mad Lions and both off the back of clutches. Because the money is great for Na'Vi. They're able to purchase on in again. Aggressive oh. orping. Refresh on a secondary? Hello. And that was supposed to be Hooksies. That's not fair. There it is. Perfecto goes down. And the toe spotted. Simple. He's trying every trick in the book and trying oh. to shoot <laughs> off the ladder. That's ambitious. I'll give points for the attempt. Yeah. Audacious. Creativity. Somehow I feel like they win this. Not anymore. Shush has gone aggressive and catches the hunting electronic, puts him into a 1v4 scenario with basically the whole round to play out. Pretty cool. And bye-bye Acor. Maybe this cut has got some legs. Simple. Makes quite the announcement of his presence into main. Hooks, he's holding the cross and he's missed it. That's no fun. The underperforming oh. in-game leader from Mad Lions has given Simple room to move and room to fill his lungs with a fresh set of air as the bomb goes down. Combined, that's a lot of pressure on an AWP trying to clutch. I hope they don't waste too much time. Oil is the jewel. He hears them. And he hits the crazy quick scope. Simple. On for the 1v4. This is exceptional. He's running out of time. Shush needs the kit. The smoke's on it. He doesn't have the kit. Oh. He paints him in. Does he have the time? He doesn't have the kit. And Simple's done it. Just like that, the star of the show steals around from four mad lions. They got so much space thanks to their utility. Look at this. They're charging up. Look how much space they've taken. The bomb plants just still being considered. Perfecto's the one to punch in the digits. And well, this retake's going to be a full five on five. Change now by Roy. Announces his presence in a flurry of brown on blue. A double kill for the stars of Na'Vi's show. Acorn wants a way in, but he's also got to be hesitant. Don't forget, Mad Lions. They got 3,400 into the next. They have nothing. Molly's for Shush to take his duel. Electronics pre-aiming it. Oh, 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 oh. Doesn't catch him. Good frag. Needs another. Perfecto has gone down. It's all onto Flamey. They have time. They have kits. Mad Lions on the retake. The dunk's not going to finish him off. Shush oh. goes down. He can do this. Opts for a fresh mag. No problems for Flamey. He clutches up. Using time as his best friend. He's got all the time in the world for a fresh mag before he takes that final frag. Backing up on their suspicions. Come on, Hooksy. Their paranoia. Hooksy's had an absolute nightmare of a game. Acor stole his second frag, and this one's no better. Taken down, executed by Boomich. And then with an, an armored row and a scout on refresh, there is a universe where electronics low HP cost them, but the bomb has been planted. And if Acor reacts, go on. Oh, no way. Tagged him enough. Refresh does finish it off. 
And the two best two opportunities. Two. Yeah, and AK's been recovered. Simple's dueling. Pop Dog can finish the job. Where is he? Does find it. Now all onto Perfecto, and he's gone down as well. Mad Lions overcome the adversity with a double kill thanks to the double R. And in we go. Shush to be tested. Flashed off. Roy too. They were charging up Speedway as they did previously, and that's the angle Shush is responsible for. It's only one from Electronic, and he hasn't been able to stop the bomb plant. Roy does, though. Electronic lives to tell the tale. He's actually gotten away for just a moment longer. Refresh ensures the round's not going to slip away, and so this 10-4 dream starts to become more of a reality. It is an armored P250. Simple. Very few ways in. I'd be impressed if he even gets a kill here. I know it's simple, but this is a very difficult task. They're all trained on the box holes. There is a chance for a flank refresh is looking towards that now, but even still, how does he find a timing on this? Yeah. Oh, my uh, God. No way. He gets two of them, and he spots the third. He hits it. Refresh loses his head, and I lose my mind. How? Oh. How? How? All right, last round of the half. There we go, Roy. Yes. He's got some success towards Indication. Pop. Oh my God. Indication. I, I gotta go back and watch the timing on that low ramp. I, uh. Okay, well, they've dug themselves out of holes deeper than this, but I don't think with Simple gone, they've got much of a shout. Boomich disagrees. He's taken the head off Refresh at great cost. Down to just 10 HP. Luke not again, caught out. Nearly kills his teammate, but it's all over. 11 to 4, the half of our second map. And the front of Bomb Train Simple actually forces forward. I'm sure he's feeling confident. Okay, Roy bouncing in and does manage to get the crosshair a bit shaky, but he stabilizes just in the nick of time. Two of them down to 15. It's good damage. They need to convert it, though. These Glocks will work better in unison. And Hoopsie spotted, needs to finish the job. One bullet would have done it. One bullet finally found, found and... Well, Flamey, with his low HP, still peppers away at Hooksy. Electronic reveals that he's been lingering in Ivy, and he's the one with the kit smoke. So powerful, potent mix, but no armor for this 2v2. And well, that may not stop Electronic. He's dueling, juking with Shush. Wow, wow. counter strafe is perfect. I think I can win this. Oh, the flash is perfect. Surely he's done. Are they going to clear hell? Spots him. Needs to take the duel, and Electronic has won them that round. A triple kill, no less, on the CT pistol. Don't knife him, though. Like, Hooksy doesn't need Oh, he's going to knife him. Doesn't need him. He's only got one kill. Oh, death. no. Oh, and it's a left click. It's another opening death. Oh, oh, it gets worse. Hooksy's having an absolute bear. Here's Flame. Flamey firing off his shot. This is just going to be a quick and painful end to the Mad Lions eco. Thanks for coming, boys. Two have tugged in. He wouldn't get the info if you look brown hole. Simple. Could get false info here, and that's Acor gone. Does he turn around? He has to be aware. High ramp. Okay, more info and a death. Now Perfecto finds the loose thread. It is going to be a bomb plant. Hooksy has access. Shush to control. And a two versus three established. Shush pushing very far up. He should find Flamey here. So low. Oh, oh my god. Wow. One deeged. Despite the low HP. 17 HP for Flamey. Still finds another. They're coming down low ramp now. Hooksy. Maybe he can find himself a couple. Quick reactions, takes off Flamey, but traded immediately. Very tidy work here from Na'Vi as they net the 15th round. Perfecto has to fall off. He knows he has to address it, which means there's only one man, Flamey, to receive this double push. Now they're in. Sight should be theirs. Good hold. Simple's rotated in just in time, and the bomb's now loose. Won't be able to get that one down. Perfecto finds the flank. He knew Backtracks was the threat. Shush, trying to get the bomb back onto the site, and he's managed to do so. Flank's coming in now from Boomin. Oh, this is so confusing. Flanks on flanks. Flanks on flanks on flanks. Acor is the latest flank of all. Boomich coming from upper. He's got Perfecto coming in as well from the other side. Upper ramps now there's Hooksy's lost the jewel. Shush with a lot to do. He needs this and he needs it cleanly. Spray does not really spell clean, but he gets the frag all the same. Still worried about Acor and the back lines. He's now in box holes. Fakes the ladder, but Shush peeks him. And it's Perfecto that's found as well. Neat and tidy. Shush has been... They're not working with many Molotovs whatsoever. Just one on simple. A, a couple of smokes. They need frags. And, well, Boomich, he's got one and a half. Yeah, that was Acor, the hardest hitter. Roy, however, does catch Electronic. And now things do look favorable, even more so as Flamey falls. A quick take onto the yard. If you get a freebie, it's a one on one. Oh, that was a timing. Gives him the warning shot, but still finds it a two versus three then. For simple and perfecto, the rest of the Danes start to move towards the 
out of sight. Simple's got the responsibility of Pomp Dog. He's also cautious of backtracks, and that's Green Train that Refresh crosses from. Let's get that bomb down. Can it be contested? Oh, Roy's lost his life. The bomb does go down, but now a 2v2. They've overcome the first two frags. It's Perfecto that has to clutch up, and Shush does go down. Looking for the second, and it's over. Just like that, a two versus four. It's exactly the same way we've seen Na'Vi pick up rounds throughout this one. Mad Lions just setting their sights now. It's going to have to come down to our third map. It's going to have to come down to Overpass. All right, well, they got the utility. Refresh, trying to duke it out with the uh, simple P250. Oh, he's so trapped. He does manage to stand his ground, and the frags come in. Simple's lost his life, which puts Electronic into a bit of a sticky situation. He'll take the upgrade and disappear. They do have the bomb and a ton of utility. Oh, the timing. Shush, here's all of this. He's pieced it together. They surely know that it will be the B finish. Electronics lining up a heaven smoke. They need to be quick. Yeah, they're gonna have to open the door as well, I believe. They're already out. Oh, that's the bomb! And Acor takes him down. What a shot! Rush didn't expect it, and neither did I. He's actually hit it, and now the bomb retrieval gets really awkward for Perfecto. He'll be finished off, and so will the round. Mad Lions taking their first into the site with a plan. And three CTs to find. Hooksy catching 99 points of damage. He lives with just a sliver. High flash, bombs being planted to contest, would be refreshed. That's Boomich's responsibility, but actually Hooksy just wildly sprays, brings Boomich down to a slither of health as well. Any further from refresh, he walks into the AWP. Speaking of AWP, yeah, it's found the frag, it's found its mark. And now the CT is likely gonna try and do damage as they can. He's actually chipped away at Simple even more, trying to retreat. Wow, they're actually just being allowed to walk away from this one, so... Flamey's guarding an uh -oh. AK. Oh, hold up. Acor, oh, okay, he's gone towards long. I thought maybe he would grace Flamey with his presence, but that'll be the round. First on the board for Na'Vi, and there's not enough time for Flamey to get around this corner and find this frag. So good stuff. And if they go for a quick hit, this is going to hurt. My God, there could be four Na'Vi members on B in the next 20 seconds. Here they come, flooding in. Shush blind and executed. Flamey into the site needs one more, and that's the end of that. Oh, simple. Going to get overrun. Hooksy has managed to take down the danger man, but Roy, maybe... Ready for electronic. Will he check it? He will. Doesn't get the crosshair in the right place at the right time, and now it does feel all too familiar. A save required. Double orb save, though. Save, yeah, that's huge. He's actually taken acors and simples. Oh, wait, this could be perfect. A double oh, kill. Oh, no, the boost. Just as they were retreating. Oh, my God, that was picture perfect. They lose everything. Look, Fecto's hearing them start their rotate. Taking those two. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Put your knives away. It's time to play. Simple. Gets himself three, maybe even the fourth. Can't quite overcome Hooksy. And that will put an AK into his hands, but keeping hold of it is a different question. They're heading A with the bomb. They are starting to take it now. And he's got two players on B as well. This exit, not going to be easy. Perfecto makes. Throws out his util set. Hopes the fight comes to him. And now, oh, Acor's going to have to get a move on. Does take the fight to Electronic. Simple in the playground needs one. He does tag him up, actually, through the slither gap. But the Franks favor Mad Lions. Oh, if they keep pushing, they might be able to isolate Boomich, who is grabbing the bomb almost into the fray of Roy. Spotted, though. He's dropping his util. You don't really want to push that. They're actually going to Still going. it. They are, and Shush has dealt with one. He's on the retreat. He's desperately trying to run, but they... they oh, they oh, line oh, up, oh. and Perfecto's got another. Just like that, it's all onto Acor. What a turn of events. He's not stopping either. God. Oh, my God, the he timing. Gets away with it. nade. We could find Perfecto. No, chunks him down to 62, though. Not too shabby. Their loss bonus it hasn't built to a point where you could be too excited about seeing a potent round coming through behind it. See there, just around that 3K mark for Roy. Different rotate route. To oh, Flamey. Yeah, Flamey has managed to get himself into the site. Tags up Acor. Acor's the only man, the danger man, to, capable of doing anything. They are starting to commit towards his site, and he hits a shot just on the crossing boomage. He could find more. Refresh is there as well. It is only just a P2K, and that AWP and another chance goes awry. Misses it, and it should just be Na'Vi picking up the pieces Two here. HP. Yeah, there's no way Acor can find too much more. He does take down Electronic, and maybe if they give him another one, he can oh. take it. Low HP, no problem. Acor's made it winnable, and it is converted by Hooksy. Mad Lions have got themselves an absolute special presence. Oh, 
Roy, but this is surely... Oh, the flash for the peak. It's perfect. Acor sets up his teammate, and they do once again seize control of the map, the round. Acor out orped by simple underpass taken perfecto using his tech nine to great success and suddenly navi have once again grabbed control shush it's one man looking for one frag and he's gotten it and got away that could not have worked out better for him he drops his incendiary to stop the hunt from simple and actually manages to soften him up for the one shot headshot of the m4 common pre-fire common pre-aim simple Yet to announce it. He'll throw out the smoke. Now, Shush readies his aim, borrows his brow, and loses out the duel. Comes down to Hoogsy. An AWP as well. Does he fancy his chances? He'll let the flames fade as he advances. Giving it a crack, I can't believe it. Let's get it. In game leader, not known to be an AWPer. He's on the hunt for Perfecto. Oh, it's a tight line, isn't it? Very little visible. Just the balaclava and an AWP recovered. Don't. Oh, it's good. This crossfire on Monster has established even more control. Now Flamey trying to level the odds. That's a good nade. Brings Refresh and Shush down to an awkward amount of health. And oh, on the flank, Roy does bait the shot. Simple. Oof. Needs to get away. Molly forcing him out of short. They both left Monster, so there is an avenue if they opt to push through. But now they've changed their task. And the timing is perfect for Refresh. Wow, this round is looking good for Mad Lions. Yeah, now the bomb's been lost as well. Once you have Simple go down in a 4v3 disadvantage situation to make it a 4 on 2, you're going to think you have some real dramas. As Flamey now gets the AWP, but this one feels very unlikely. It certainly does. Molly will force Shush's hand, and he takes the fight to perfection. So we will just accept that 7 for Mad Lion's defense. Now, we've, we were having the conversation chat about Nuke and its uh, leniency towards that, that T side. Yeah. Overpass is... Uh, Oh my god, they want to contest long, and he's fully flashed. This is going to get sketchy. Oh, this could spotted. be a problem, and actually works out wonderfully for the Danes. A triple kill on the Na'Vi Aggress. Shuts it all down, and the bomb's there too. And Roy looking to get the perfect timing on this flank. He's been great at this. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, it's enough of a distraction to make it a 1v1 for Acor. Roy deciding he wants an AWP for this one, but Acor's the, the master of the big green. Boost, boost. Thing. yeah. This might be too little too late. They already have sewer control. Have to be careful. The scope's been heard, and yeah, thinking better of that is Acor. Okay, so this is actually going to be all on Flamey's push, and he's already been shut down. That was the only Galil, the rifle, but it doesn't stop Simple's Deagle, nor the Tech-9 of Boomage. Quickly silenced by Refresh. The trade's starting to favor, but another for Electronic. Two on two. The weapons, everything favors the CTs. Electronic trying to sneak away. Hooksy's having none of it, and it puts it all onto Simple's Deagle. He's won crazy things in this series already. And this one, more than doable, but only a $700 sidearm for Simple. The re-aggress from Roy is everything here. He's not expecting it. He is going to have a look, but it's 10 to 5. Na'Vi going to have to work with just the 5 as Mad Lions switch over. Oh my god, not the, the double wombo combo. That's Simple, he's close though. He'll have the call. They are so uncertain. Now Acor's going, go back, go back. You know you want to. Oh, Electronic finding the first and the second as well, weathering the flashbang of Hooksy. Boomich oh my making God. a meal of this. Electronic's the one to take the snack, though. Three frags. No issues for Electronic. Give him a fourth. Yeah, he will. He'll steal that one away, and that's an RV's pistol every day of the week. In the hands of Electronic, and it looks like a nice little jump throw. Is that monster from... Oh, it's deep backyard. Back. Okay. okay, cool. So they go aggressive on that. And there's all of them there. A whole pack. It's a party. Perfecto needs to get the spray right. And he's only got one. It's Boomich's spray that massacres them as he swings down with the sewing machine oh. and a good deagle from Hoogs. He's only going to name the one. Taking it in turns for quad kills, it seems. Perfecto's here as well. They've gambled correctly. All the right pieces in all the right places. Simple. Then electronic. Both good for one. Tip of the head found, but it does cost... Oh no, a double for Perfecto. Puts it all onto Acor and he's gone too. Nice hold to both of them finding the necessary double. It was Perfecto and Simple this time around. We're just a little oh, leg. Oh, perfect. it's so good. Bang! And that's a hundred damage inflicted as well as the death and departure of Hooksy. Oh. Now the wall bangs are hitting. Simple's gone. Go on, <laughs> son! Takes down Acor. 
finally loses his life, but damage in round one. Oh, say that. Shush. Not expecting another boomage. Can't wrap it up because Refresh is hitting Deagle shots too. The Danish Deag strikes. He's planting safe. He will get the bomb down. Perfecto from one side. He needs a weapon. Trying to find an orb, but he's getting oh. shot out from behind. He couldn't piece it together. The priorities were all skew if. He's walking into an orb. It should be a cause. Okay, 4v4. 28. They have to go. This is going to be a heaven smoke. And now... Well, their options are so limited, it's going to have to be Monster Tunnel. Hooksy, Acor, Refresh, Roy, Boomich working on a flank, and Simple, ready and waiting alongside Flamey. They need frags and they need them now. Flamey trying to deny. The smoke is good. It could enable a plant, but they still have to kill the CTs, and those are the double kill. Can they get it down? Simple to contest. He needs to take down Hooksy, and he has. They've got no time. Boomich just needs to survive. The spray is wild, and Na'Vi take the round. Oh, dear. That was so close. Boomich had not, like, he had to make a decision so quick. Flamey needs one, at least. That should be it. Pulls the trigger onto Acor, and he's not done yet. Refresh is gone, shush nearly. Just a narrow margin now for the Danes. They need to get that bomb in. Shush needs a clean kill, can't find it. Boomish can't transfer though, and so the Danes will take it all the way down to a 1v1. But Hooksy comes out on top and we play on, 11-11. Flash through, yeah, perfect, but he evades it. Oh, and that's the second, perfect. Now they've got a way in. 20 seconds, they're going to start to move in now, and Flamey does find a little bit of respite. Uh, just enough to get the bomb loose. Good flash, counter flash. Boomich has got completely hooksy booked. They're rotating in, Refresh needs multi, can't control the spray. And it's Roy trying to save the day. Seven seconds, just not enough. Acorn needs a double kill. Four seconds, it's not enough. Electronic pulls the 12th out of the hat with four seconds to spare. It's not dreamy. Gnell can bang. Oh, wow. They're all lining up for the MP9, and they take heavy damage from Perfecto. Boomich as well just adds pain, misery to the Danish ranks. Oh, and caught with a nade in his hands. Acor is left as Roy departs, and now a one versus three. He's going to nutmeg the smoke, but they're staring at him. <laughs> they smoke on top of him, and he walks into the three. So 13 is found by Na'Vi, but it has been coming down to the craziest and tightest of margins. This one a more convincing finish. Till Na'Vi post up round number 14. The Scout, the Deagles, sure, they're better than nothing. Wow, that's ex exactly what they needed. Shush actually caught Simple, as well as the refresh victory against Electronic. Suddenly there's an M4, there's armor, and there could be a bomb plan. That's Acor's responsibility. Perfecto does try and contest, no. and Acor's taking his head off. Mad Lions trying to take this series and keep it competitive. Just when it looked like it was all Na'Vi's, Boomich wants to take it back, and now down to refresh. He's got the spray, gets the triple, and we see 12 for the Mad Lions. That's huge. Completely equalized. This should be 13. It should, being the operative word, a spot of Boomich jumping for the info. Bomb not spotted though, and oh, here oh, we come go. come on, not again. Simple's doing simple things, and oh no, Shush has been caught by the push. Just like that. A conservative round, and it's falling apart. Mad Lions, our heart bleeds for them as they start to lose it. Looking good, not too good though. Roy has missed his shot, missed his chance, and now the round starting to dissolve in front of them. A full, practically a full eco, no armor. P250s, a deagle on the high end. After all of this hard work, after the clutch, maybe Hooksy's got a way back in. He does find the first. He's trying to sell as best he can. Teammate waiting in the wings. Electronic on Optimus, simple, trying to nutmeg. Perfecto rotating in as well. Acor has not chosen to p pursue the site just yet. Oh, and that's the element of surprise. Another rifle for Na'Vi. Acor saves now, surely. There's oh, no way he goes through it. a one on four. The money situation is not great for Mad Lions either. How can he justify going for this? He's in no man's land I mean, right now. They've even got no armor, which means nothing to him. You know, the same yeah. kills as hard as it would be if they did or didn't. He's having a look. Oh, he had a look. They're going to get an all part of that. I like the look of this. Mad Lions need this if they want to stay competitive or Na'Vi will have series point. In they go. Flash has got Flamey off the line. Flamey oh, just get his it. molly right. They've got so much space. They just need to profit. Trying to fall. Hold the spray, Perfecto, how are you still alive? He's using the smoke, he's wrapped around the chaos. Oh, Mad Lions, they've lost him. Out of bullets. 3v3. 
Acor onto Electronic. Absolute chaos in the server. The bomb's still not down. A 2v2. Boomich coming in from one side. Simple the other. And he's got eyes on the bomb. Acor finally through the Molotov. But Simple could oh. find the shot. A miss. An uncharacteristic one. Enables the plant. Roy's holding the push. Swaps to the AK. Simple wants to hunt. He wants blood. And it's Roy that finds it. <laughs> this is a game. Boomich and Perfecto. Famas MP9. Fortunately, the star will arrive, but here comes the push. An MP9, it's not ideal and does get traded. Acor, T side orping, but that's a big frag from Perfecto. Simple caught out by Acor. They've got the 15th now. 10 seconds. They just have to plant. It can't be contested. Roy can stop the hunt, and that's 15. Mad Lions have series point. Decision making takes a little longer. Simple just rotated back towards the site, so he's not close to help either of his A defenders. Need this cleanly. Oh, and Boomich has got it. Starting to hear the tingles of overtime. Shush has gone down as well. Finally a trade. Okay, Refresh needed that. Hooksy's luck is gone, and they have to plant with 18 seconds left. This is chaos. Already charging into a stacked site. Up against three. Simple waiting in the wings on the site. It was supposed to be Mad Lions. It was supposed to be clean and easy. He needs a plan. He hasn't got the time. They haven't got the resources. We're off to overtime. My goodness, of course. Incensed, he goes forward as the utils deployed towards his position. But he, now he could be caught vulnerable. He is. He manages to live to tell the tale. An underhand flash. He wants to fight. He wants to brawl. He wants to biff. He has got a lot of pressure. The incendiary buys him more time. He's getting wall back down to 16 and will just Make get sure. overwhelmed. He does tag up Shush. You're right. Very low HP and an adjustment from Electronic, almost robotic, takes down Roy. Now, crossing back to the site is a core. Oh, wow. Lovely catch, despite the flash. Manages to punish Electronic, trying to scarper. And look at the headshot angle. Boomich finds himself in. Trying to contain them. Acor trying to use his barrel to bait another shot. Confirms that Boomich isn't there. But oh, fresh? no. Refresh is asleep at the wheel. And he's enabled a full retreat of Boomich from underpass. That's really not ideal. Hooksy needs one onto Boomich here. And he has managed to find it. So now we run into a 2v2, a crucial one for Mad Lions to stay competitive and just scoping over the flame now, smoked off. He'll drop a bottle, a can. Nothing to contest just yet. They group up. Flamey and Perfecto are the ones to push now into the site. Acor likely going to take one glance and fall away, but they've already managed to set one up. Perfecto has dropped off. And it's Acor to find the other. Now they have a perfect understanding as to where Perfecto can be coming from. Hooksy confirms there's nothing ramp, which means <gasps> Hooksy's been caught. There's still time. Perfecto can clutch this. Doesn't have too much threat. And he just has to put pressure on him. Jumping everything to avoid the orb shot. Has he got the time for the defuse? He's got it. Oh, Acor's going to be kicking himself. Those misses have cost him another round. Mad Lions. There's no way Simple will expect this. Boom. Oh. No problem. Walk into the scope. Working on it, expecting Acor to peek on this side of the tree. He's got him dead to right. Simple's playing a different game here. 26 frags, the flash is perfect. Does bait the uh, smoke out of Perfecto. 24, Chad, I don't know. It doesn't seem likely. Uh, they're up against three. Stacked on the site comfortably. All Flaming has to do is peek and shoot. That's Roy gone. And that's the round. This is a spotless defense here from Na'Vi with a stance that we haven't seen from them. It's 18 to 15. Getting pushed. Acor is still thinking about the boost and he just gets over, overcomplicated with it. Trying to be the hero, understandably so. Now here comes Roy's chance to shine. He's got two, a multi-kill required. He does find the header one, needs Boomich, can't find the trade necessary. So just three of the Danes here on the defense. And refresh. He's well aware and all too familiar with Boomich's tricks. They are bringing the bomb towards them, though. And all the oh, the timing on this. Okay. They're dead. Yeah, Simple knows exactly what they're up to. Or not, because Shush has found them. Flamey picks up the pieces. We've got a 3v2 established now, and the bomb was on Simple. Shush's frag may very well have given Mad Lions another chance just to play, just to give it a good go, but Flamey finds him at the exchange of almost all of his health. Hooksy. The leader we spoke to, orb in hand and a clutch to extend the map. Flames force him into the fight and he does find the first. Electronic, gone. A one versus two now. Perhaps a little more manageable. Less than 20 maps or played with the squad. They're staring at him. 
Everything points towards a Na'Vi victory here, stealing it from the jaws of defeat. He looks for the quick scope, can't find it. Flamey and Na'Vi victorious. Full overtime though, a lot of hard work. We take a break, we'll be breaking it down. Na'Vi with a big W to start their IEM Beijing journey.